welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a pretty large haul for you guys and it is going to be from Ross and also Marshalls. Honestly, majority of everything is from Marshalls, but I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up. I needed desperately to buy some new like fall and winter clothing just because I have purchased my closet and I got rid of a ton of things. Either it wasn't my style anymore, it wasn't fitting me correctly, or I've just had for so long and it's super faded. So I did go ahead and pick up myself a few items. So I figured I would go ahead and show you guys everything that I purchased. Not everything is clothes. I do have a few things that are not clothing items that I want to still show you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's haul. So I'm going to show you guys everything I got from Ross first, just because I only bought a few items from Ross. So the first thing is going to be some kitchen towels. And this is from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I love that movie, but I'm not going to keep this. I'm actually going to either give it to my sister or my mom for Christmas because they both love that movie as well. And this was only $5.99 and it came in a pack of two and both the towels look exactly the same and the quality feels really good. They're pretty thick. So I grabbed that. Now I'm going to admit I've actually already worn this shirt, but I still want to show you guys. It was only $5.99 and it's like a really pretty green color. It is a crop top. And it just says grow positive thoughts with a bunch of pictures of really pretty plants. And it is so comfortable. I loved that shirt. Then I also got a one piece um, shirt. It's like a, what is it called? Bodysuit. And it is gray and it's like a quarter length sleeve. And this was $6.99. And I just like to wear shirts like this with like um, high top jeans or high waisted jeans. So I just grabbed that. I thought that was really cute. I also picked up this shirt. It's kind of like a sweater shirt top and this was $9.99 and I figured this would look cute with either jeans or leggings and it is long. So like I said, you can wear it with leggings and it will cover your butt. So I just thought that was really cute. It's long sleeves and I think it's gonna be really comfortable once it starts getting more chilly outside. This is the last item I purchased from Ross. I did buy a hamper from Ross, but I already put that in my closet. So I'll try to remember to show you guys what the hamper looks like at the end of the video. But this is the last thing I got from Ross. It's a pair of high-waisted jeans. They are distressed and they were $16.99. And honestly, I need to stop buying distressed jeans because I have so many pair, but I just love the style. So they're like a light wash pair of distressed jeans. So it has distressing everywhere. They are the skinny um, look jeans and then it has some distressing on the back as well. And like I said, they are high waisted and they're super comfortable. Okay, so now everything else that I'm gonna show you guys is from Marshalls. So I did get myself a set of kitchen towels for Halloween because I am going to be decorating the inside of my house for Halloween. That video will probably be up before this haul. If it is, I will link it down below for you guys. But it's just a set of two Halloween um, kitchen towels. And these were $6.99 and it's just like an off-white cream color with a bunch of black pumpkins and bats and spider webs. It does come in a set of two and the quality on these are really good as well. They're super thick, so I can't wait to put that in my kitchen. And I bought myself a few more pair of jeans. So these are also high-waisted skinny jeans. These were $19.99 and the wash on this one is a little bit darker than the pair from Ross. And these do have a little bit of distressing, but not as much as the previous one. So it has some distressing there some on the knees and then these are um the skinny jeans with some pockets in the back and it has a bunch of buttons in the front and they were super affordable like i said 16.99 and it says they are made with recycled water bottles so that's cool. next pair of jeans are also skinny high-rise jeans and these were 16.99 as well and they are more of like a dark wash type of jeans and they do have a little bit of distressing, but not as much as the previous ones. And they are skinny. That's how they look. And they're super stretchy, super comfortable. I did try them on. And yeah, just a simple pair of high rise jeans. And then I think these are the last pair of jeans that I picked up. And they are just a pair of simple black high-waisted jeans for $19.99. I do have a pair of black jeans, but I don't really like how they look on me. So I picked up another pair and they are the brand Kenzie jeans and they're super comfortable, super stretchy. They are the skinny um, style and yeah, just a pair of simple 
black high rise. So I've been wanting a jean jacket for a while. I just haven't found one that I really liked. Now I do wish I could have gotten this jacket in a larger size, but this was the last one I could find and it was only um, a small, so I couldn't get a larger size. If not, I probably would have went to like a medium or a large, but this was $19.99 and I love it. It has a bunch of distressing all over it. You guys know I love the distressed look, but it has distressing there. It has distressing also um, on the back of the jacket. I don't know if I'm showing you guys good, but that's how it looks in the back as well. So I'm super excited to wear this. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot this fall season. So I grabbed that jacket. I also grabbed myself a hoodie just because I need more sweaters like sweatshirts and this was on clearance for $16. It's just a simple black Puma sweatshirt with a hoodie. So I figured I could wear that once it starts getting cold. This is going to be a simple black long sleeve and I just like shirts like this that are simple that I can wear every day. And that's how it looks. It's like an acid wash, like black um, acid wash and they are long sleeves. And how much was this? This was $9.99 and super comfortable, like I said, just like an everyday type of shirt. I did buy myself another bodysuit. Like I said, I like how bodysuits look um, with high-waisted jeans. So this one is a leopard um, look and, or leopard print. And this was $10, I think. Yeah, $10. It's long sleeves. And like I said, I think this would go really cute with some of the distressed um, high-waisted jeans that I purchased. Next shirt is going to be a black ribbed long sleeve shirt. It was $9.99. I love that it had the little tie knot in the front and yeah it's super soft and stretchy and like i said it was 9.99 and i thought that was a good price for this shirt I found two clearance shirts this was only three dollars you guys and it's an american eagle um loose fitting tank top and i figured i could wear it now since it's still pretty hot outside and then once fall comes around i can just throw a jacket over it and for three dollars i just could not leave this shirt behind and then the other shirt that I found that was on clearance was this shirt. How much was it? It was on clearance for $6. It's like a knitted um, top. And I thought that was so cute. And like I said, I can wear this now because it is still pretty hot outside. So I grabbed this top and then to go underneath the top, I grabbed this and it's $4.99. It's like one of those like tube top, like brawls type thing. I probably will put a um, strapless bra underneath this just because there's no way I could get away with not wearing a bra with this. So um, I figured it, the shirt would look cuter with a strapless bra. So I'll wear this underneath that shirt. I also grabbed this spaghetti strap shirt, but I am gonna bring it back just because the straps aren't adjustable and it's just way too low for my liking. But I thought this would go really cute with a pair of faux leather leggings that I have and that jean jacket over that I purchased, but it's just way too low. So I'm going to be bringing it back, but I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like a leopard print on it. And this was, how much was this? This was $5.99, but I am going to be bringing that back just because it is just way too low cut. And the last top I got was a sweater shirt and it was $16.99. And it's so soft, you guys, so cozy. I seriously cannot wait to wear this and this would look cute with either leggings or jeans so yeah that is the last um sweater top that i purchased now the next few items are going to be random items that i picked up now this glass i have technically already used but it is a hocus pocus wine glass you guys know i love hocus pocus i'm wearing a shirt right now of it so this wine glass was $5.99 um, but if you guys like Hocus Pocus, but you don't like to drink wine, you can totally use this to drink water in or put soda, juice, whatever your drink preference is. You can use that for this wine glass. And I just thought that was really cute. So I grabbed that wine glass. I also grabbed a candle and I thought this candle would look really cute in my bathroom. And it's just a white pumpkin candle and it was $3.99. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. There we go. It was only $3.99 for the candle. And then I got two hair products. So both these had really good reviews on it. I'm that type of person that will sit in the aisle and like look up reviews before I buy things. So this is by Rusk and it's a thermal shine spray and it was $9.99. So I'm super excited to try this out. And then I also found this Argan Magic Restorative Hair Mask and this was $6.99. And this also had really good reviews. So I'm so excited to try this hair mask. The last item I picked up was a anti-aging moisturizer and it has retinol and a rose oil. 
It's the brand Pearlescent and it was $5.99 and the packaging was really pretty. So like a rose gold. So I grabbed that and my lighting is horrible. So I'm sorry. There you go. So it's just a face cream because I'm out of the one that I currently have. All right, friends. So that is going to end my Ross and Marshall's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I mentioned before, if you guys would like me to film a at home try on haul, let me know in the comments and also give this video a thumbs up. I know you guys enjoy when I do in store try ons, but unfortunately, I still can't film those videos. All fitting rooms are still closed where I live. So maybe I can piece together um, all the clothing that I purchased, show you guys how I would put it together and do like a fall clothing at home try on haul, something like that. So if that is something you guys are interested in, just let me know and I will film that video for you guys very soon. But as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. I love you guys and I'll see you guys for my next video. Bye.